Hello, my wonderful friends. Welcome back to another story time video with Miss Esther. <laughs> Today, I have another interesting story I would like to share with you. And the title of my story is Little Red Riding Hood. A long time ago, there lived the girl who was so thoughtful and kind. And she loved to visit her grandmother. Her grandmother enjoyed the visit so much that she gave the little girl a special present. She sold the girl a wool cape with her hood. It was the girl's favorite color, a wonderful sherry red. The girl liked her cape so much that she wore it everywhere. First, she wore it to the village store. Then, she wore it to visit her cousins on the other side of the village. She even wore her cape to bed. Soon, everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, Your grandmother isn't feeling well. I'll go visit her, said Little Red Riding Hood, and I'll take a picnic. What a good idea, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. And be sure to stay on the path through the woods. Little Red Riding Hood promised that she would and she packed a basket with her grandmother's favorite food and set off. Little Red Riding Hood skipped down the long winding path as she always did on her visits and she was so careful to stay on the path. After a while, she met a wolf. Hello, said the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood knew she shouldn't be talking to the wolf. But he seemed friendly. Hello, she said. Where are you going this fine day, little girl? Asked the wolf. I'm going to visit my grandmother, said Little Red Riding Hood. She isn't feeling well, so I'm bringing her this picnic with her favorite foods. And where does your grandmother live? Asked the wolf. At the end of this path, a slight grin came over the wolf's face. Hmm. <laughs> he knew that if he ran up the hill, he would get to the grandmother's house before the little red riding hood. I will gobble up the old lady and the little girl, he thought, smacking his lips. Mm. <laughs> and I will gobble up that tasty picnic too. Hmm, bad wolf. Let's see what happens next. Look at all the flowers growing in the woods, said the crafty wolf. Why don't you pick some for your grandmother? Pretty flowers will make her feel even better. Good idea, said Little Red Riding Hood. The prettiest flowers were far from the path, but Little Red Riding Hood thought that it would be all right to leave the path just this once. When she turned to pick some flowers, the wolf ran straight to the grandmother's house. The door was unlocked, so the wolf opened it quietly and crept inside. He tiptoed into the grandmother's bedroom and found her asleep in bed. Suddenly, she woke up. And when she saw the wolf, she screamed, Help! Help! cried Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother. That's sad. The wolf grabbed her, pushed her into the closet, and locked the door. Really? Be quiet, he said. Or I'll gobble you up now instead of later. The wolf quickly put on a nightgown and a cap. He hopped into bed and pulled the covers up to his hairy chains. At the moment, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the front door. Grandmother, she called. Come in, my dear, said the wolf in a high voice, pretending to be Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother. Such a bad wolf. Little Red Riding Hood went into the bedroom. She stared at her grandmother lying in bed. Her grandmother looked very strange, and Little Red Riding Hood was afraid. Grandmother, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. 
the better to hear you with my dear said the wolf <laughs> I can imagine the wolf having to pretend like little red riding hood's grandmother. <laughs> That's a chore. Grandmother, what big eyes you have, said little red riding hood. The better to see you with, my dear, said the wolf. <laughs> Grandmother, what big hands you have, said the little red riding hood. The better to hug you with, my dear. <laughs> I want to know what happened, right? I want to know how Little Red Riding Hood is going to react when she finds out that this is a wolf and not her grandmother. That's going to be so scary for Little Red Riding Hood. So sit back, listen, and enjoy as I tell you what happened next. Grandmother, what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to eat you with, cried the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood screamed. This was not her grandmother. It was the wolf. Suddenly, the wolf sprang out of bed. He tried to grab Little Red Riding Hood, but she leaped away, light as a leaf, in her cherry red cape. The wolf grabbed the air. Instead, with a yelp, the wolf tumbled out the window and rolled head over heels down the hill. He was never seen again. Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother pounded on the closet door. Little Red Riding Hood let her out, and they hugged as tightly as they could. Thank goodness, that's over with, said her grandmother. What happened? Mother said you were sick, said Little Red Riding Hood. So I brought you a picnic lunch, but I left the path to pick flowers. Well, I think you've learned your lesson, said her grandmother. I am just glad that we're both safe. Then, Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother sat down and enjoyed their visits together. It was the best one they had ever had. Interesting story. Now, I'm going to ask you, what did you learn from this story? Well, I learned that it's good to listen to our parents, obey instructions. Little Red Riding Hood's mom told her not to leave the path, but it seems she forgot what the mother said and left the path. And look at what happened. The wolf almost ate her and her grandmother up by not listening to the simple instruction her mother had given her. You see, so when next mommy and daddy or your teacher at school gives you an instruction, all you have to do is listen and follow those instructions because they're going to help you in life. Okay? Now, promise me you're going to be good boys and girls. Great job. Interesting. All right, friends. Thank you for listening to this very interesting story. See you in my next video and bye for now.